Business and Jerry Henry with sports. The international search for former Somerset County prosecutor Nicholas Bissell ends tragically. Good evening. Eight days after he fled to avoid sentencing on fraud and corruption charges, Nicholas Bissell took his own life today. Federal marshals had tracked him to a casino hotel in Nevada, and they were trying to take him into custody when the ex-lawman shot himself in the head. Michael Aaron is in our Newark newsroom now with more on the story. Michael? Kent, it happened at 7.15 this morning, West Coast time. Five deputy U.S. marshals knocked on Nick Bissell's door at the casino hotel and tried to place him under arrest. Bissell pulled a gun. There were discussions for several minutes with one agent in the hotel room with Bissell, but they were unsuccessful in convincing the 49-year-old ex-prosecutor to give himself up. They took no action to provoke Mr. Bissell while speaking with him. Despite their best efforts, Bissell killed himself by shooting himself in the head with a handgun in his hotel room. This is a truly tragic ending to this case. When Nick Bissell fled, he left a note saying he wanted to control his own destiny. He has done that. The Marshal's office in Newark realized yesterday morning that Bissell was in Lachlan, Nevada, 70 miles south of Las Vegas. Three agents from New Jersey flew out yesterday and with two other marshals arrived this morning to take him in. The marshals had first found Bissell's moss green Jeep Grand Cherokee bearing stolen Kentucky license plates outside the Colorado Bell Casino Hotel. Bissell was rushed to a hospital in Bullhead City, Arizona where he was pronounced dead. The marshal offered no details as to where Bissell may have been since he fled his Somerset County home last Monday or how he was tracked to Nevada. He leaves behind his wife Barbara, who was convicted with him, and their two teenage daughters. The rogue prosecutor also leaves a son by a prior marriage. This is taped from his interview with the U.S. Attorney's Office two years ago, before he and Barbara were indicted and then convicted of skimming money out of a gas station they co-owned and various other crimes in Nick Bissell's case. The family has been notified, but the marshal would not say whether Bissell had contacted any of them. Did he have any message for his family? Um, that it will still be investigated. I don't have any information on that. Cunningham said his agents will return tonight with Bissell's body, and he'll get more details from the men. The U.S. attorney convicted Bissell and then signed off on releasing him after a psychiatrist's evaluation said he was not a risk of flight or suicide. We can't trust that yet. Evaluation. I'm not drawing that conclusion at all. I mean, I certainly think it would be wrong to take one incident and ever cast aspersions on an entire profession based on one incident. It's not something I do. Hotchberg was asked what the case means to her personally. It's really tragic. I have been a prosecutor for almost 10 years. I have been a lawyer for 21 years. I've certainly never had anything like this happen. It's ironic that Bissell died in a casino hotel because there was testimony at his trial of heavy gambling by him in Atlantic City. His mother may not lose her condo now, the one she put up as collateral, but Barbara Bissell still faces sentencing next month and is still looking at two to three years. Fed guidelines from that, not U.S. attorney. In the end, Bill may have to avoid seeing but his... She has a big scene of her Barbara Bissell raced up her driveway and into her garage this afternoon. She was followed by two U.S. Marshals who arrived to officially deliver the news. Rescue the two sick women's body. Alright? Are you going to do that or are we going to have to ask you? Know, we have to ask you to leave right now. They were followed by several local police officers who kept the media off their grounds. When Bissell's daughter got home from school, she would not talk to reporters. Some neighbors, however, were talking. Jim Ajamian found the entire story hard to believe. I, I didn't think he'd, he'd take his own life. But uh, well, he was desperate. He ruined his life, you know. So this may be an easy way out for him. Others said they feel sorry for Bissell's family. I think he should have done the 10 years that he was was sentenced to do and then gotten on and you know got
got his life together. News of Bissell's suicide was everywhere inside the Somerset County Courthouse, especially in the prosecutor's office. Acting Prosecutor Melanie Campbell was appointed after Bissell's departure. The individuals uh, who work here, who have worked with Mr. Bissell over the years, are very much touched by the tragedy and um, extend all of our heartfelt sympathy to the family. Governor Whitman was out of state today, but her spokesman called the incident unfortunate. As she feels that is a terrible tragedy, terrible personal tragedy. Uh, it's very sad, and she feels very badly for the family. Now, not everyone seems saddened by the turn of events. The Franklin Township Police Department posted part of the reward to find Bissell. They've had a poor relationship with him over the years. One officer there was quoted today saying, Bissell led the life of a coward, and he died as a coward. Kent, this one-time prosecutor, certainly had his list of enemies. For now, reporting from Montgomery Township, I'm Rich Young, NJN News. Back to you in Trenton. Rich, thank you. In other news tonight, a Rowan College